Hey there, my name is Bethany Long and thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. It's been a long time since I've been in touch with you and I've missed you and I've kind of been hiding out. Not sure what to say and kind of feeling eh, not so great about things and I'm like, wow, you know, kind of fell in this slump and I, I wanted to share that with you because no matter who you are or where you are in your life and in your business, this happens. So what do you do? I'll tell you my story and maybe that will support you wherever you are in your business or in your life. For me, I found myself working a zillion hours a day, not hanging out with my friends, my family, and not having fun, that's for sure, <laughs> uh, pretending I was working but doing all these little tasks that really weren't, you know, all together amounting to too much. So here's the three takeaways that I got from this time period that hopefully you can implement and, and maybe I can help you out of this space. Number one, I found myself isolated and again, pushing everybody away, kind of hiding out. And that is the worst case scenario. Yeah, we need our time to refill, but what I found is I was less creative and less productive. Even though I was working way more hours, but not out there. I didn't have that balance. You know, the fun and juicy and interaction with people to help me talk about my ideas and, and build my ideas and translate that into you know, my work. I was missing this huge piece. So who's your people? Get your people. Get your mentors, whoever that is, to support you in your quantum leap goals, especially if you've given yourself some quantum leap challenges and goals to put yourself out there in a bigger way, um, to build your business in a bigger way, to make a difference that I know you want to do. To listen to that nudge, that nudge that you've been getting from the universe to take some action, yeah, start listening to that nudge. And that's number two, is listening to that nudge. You know, I love talking about it because most of us have had this nudge, this flash of brilliance, and you need to start listening to that because it's going to annoy you and bother you. Or you just, you'll keep missing it because you're ignoring it. So it gets kind of louder but you don't really want to wait for the beating over the head. You want to do it while it's a little more quiet, because I can tell you the beating over the head hurts. <laughs> but it's the, a way of getting our attention. Um, or what ends up happening is, you know, you're getting this nudge, but you're ignoring them so much that you're missing opportunities, and you're not even knowing their opportunities. So what's your nudge? And start tuning into that, that, that elbow that you've been getting. And third is courage. Courage, courage, courage. I talk about courage all the time with my clients and with myself. And I want to encourage you to take courageous action. This journey that we're on, when you're choosing to, to go deep in your inner transformation work, when you're choosing to up-level and say, hey, I don't want to be like everybody else. I want to be me, share my gifts. I want to you know, have this life more than just mediocre. When you're up-leveling in that way and you're looking for vitality and fun, it takes courage to put yourself out there, to listen to that nudge, to reach out to your people. And I'm going to share with you my favorite quote. It's from We Bought a Zoo. And it's sometimes all you need is 20 seconds of insane courage, just 20 seconds of embarrassing bravery, and I promise you, something will come of it. So I'm offering to you this 20 second challenge of courage. So what are you going to do every day? I want you to share with me some of your 20 second courage challenges. You know, I had a client who in 20 seconds at an event he was at, beelined it to Jack Canfield from Chicken Soup for the Soul Millionaire and they're potentially doing a project together. They're in working on that. You know, another client from this year-long group, um, this coaching program that I'm a coach in, she took the challenge and contacted a gallery who had closed their doors, but 
they're opening in another location, and they want her artwork. She was sweating it out, didn't want to call, and she did. And even for me, myself, I'm, for you, gathering these amazing experts to talk about their courage, the courage factor that led to their leap, their quantum leap in their life and in their business from mediocre to unbelievable. And I'm get, I contacted some pretty amazing people. And it was scary. What if they said no? You know, I'd feel like a jerk. But I did it anyway. So you'll hear more about that. And that's coming to you in November. So those three things, reach out to your people. Who are your people? Reach out to your mentors. Remember to connect with your own nudge, that thing that keeps bugging you, that you know you need to do or say, or that this idea, this brilliant idea you've been having. Give it some space and some time. Listen to it. And have courage to take that action. Courage to up-level and know that, yeah, this my life can be better. It totally can. I can feel what I've been craving and have the courage to make that happen. It only takes 20 seconds a day. So stay tuned for more videos and content that I can't wait to share with you that I've discovered in this time period. And I look forward to hearing about your 20 seconds of insane courage. Thank you so much. Have a fabulous day.